Okie dokie, today I got a phone call for a sink drain clog. I'm going to be showing you how I unclog that sink drain. Let's go check it out first. Got a, obviously a dirty sink here. And the problem with this sink is, I'm going to show you really fast what the problem is. Uh, it's got, everything is glued together. So I'm not going to be able to unscrew anything. There is a screw piece on here, but it's all glued together. So like I said, we're not getting down here anytime soon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this and I'm going to set you down right here. Take okay, you the first thing I'm going to do is remove the debris. doing now is I'm taking I'm just taking a drill in this big drill bit that drills through stainless steel and steel and it drills through about anything wood about anything you need it to drill through and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna drill a hole right through the center thinking but fork man you only live once and I'm about to put a fork in this bench and I'm going to think about a beach so that I don't think about sewer drain. I'm not going to show you this on the plumbing 101 episode. Okay, what I'm doing now is I'm going to take my self-fed. This is, I'll show you at the end of this video what this is. But it's a cobalt from Lowe's. I'll stick this down in that drain hole. Okay. Now, all I'm going to do is turn this. See? That's all I'm going to do. Dude, yeah, most people don't believe me. But they don't teach you this in the seminary. They just don't teach you that in the seminary. I love you. I love you too. But hope don't float, Hodge. It looks like I busted through the clog. That was a pretty bad clog. I'm gonna run hot water now, as hot as it can go. Now, I had to work this back and forth, clearly. I worked it back and forth for a long time. You'll feel some tension. And when you feel some tension, it's either when you're turning through the pipes and you're finagling it through the pipes, or you feel tension because you feel grease or a clog or something inside the sink so depending on whether which one it is um, I just push it forwards and pull it back like this you can see and also you can feel it it'll be sliding easily through the pipes once you get through the, the turns and basically I just cranked and turned this thing for about uh, 20 minutes and put you on a time speed and I had to bust through three or four clogs. There was one in the P-trap, one a little bit further in the Y, one down below. So I went in and probably about 10 foot in. Um, so on this specific clog, you would have needed this tool. Uh, you probably couldn't have done it. There's no way you could have done it with one of those cheap little $3 things that you stick in to get hair out. So anyway, the Cobalt 25 footer automatic fed got the clog undone with that drill drilling that hole right through the top i didn't have to remove anything my hands are still clean okay so when you own your own property and you're the landlord of the property you can do things like this like drilling a hole through your sink i'll show you what this looks like but i'm gonna play with this a little bit longer and we'll see if we can get this to back up or if we are clear 
the hot water, now that we have a hole through, will melt that grease. So I'm melting that grease right now. But uh, we got to be careful when you're putting stuff down the sink. This does not have a garbage disposal or a washing machine, a dishwasher. So uh, this most likely was just grease and food. I'm going to run hot water for 15 to 20, maybe even 30 minutes. drill bit once again through the other side on this side I'll stop running water for a second so you can see there's both sides I've drilled that hole in the top and you can see it almost looks like the sink was meant to be that way so and I've got it all smoothed out it's real nice looks good and my snake machine drain the one the cobalt from Lowe's this little head fits right through the top of that and all I did is I ran it through those holes and you can see it just ran down down here and I pushed the clog out from here, pushed it out and over into here on both sides, ran this one down and there was a clog over here as well. I pushed that one up and over and then once I got that sewer kit down inside this, it pushed both of those clogs out and through and down and I shoved it down there through into the three inch or into the four inch pipe down below the duplex. So, YOLO. These are the tools that I use for the job. I've got this cobalt drum sink drain cleaner. And right now it is on, it was in lock and now I've put it in on. I'm gonna go forwards and you'll see that piece at the end start come out. And that just digs through the clog and cleans everything out. And then you can go in reverse, you can see now, and it's retracting back into the machine. And now I can lock it. That goes through the clog real easy. You're gonna have to fight it maybe just a little bit, but it's gonna be way easier than a self-bed one. And then you have this. This is the drill bit that I used from Lowe's, okay? If this video was helpful in any way, go ahead and like it. Subscribe to the channel if you like home improvement videos. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No way. No way. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think we got it. And that sewer drain cleaner, I tell you what, that thing will clean her dirty hole like a... Oh, I'm still on. Darn it.